Hi guys, good to see you in October. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winner Value Comments. This episode is going to be my October market update for all Seattle and all East Side neighborhoods, and we're going to see together what's happening with local real estate market. I'd like to start this episode to show you guys what's happening with mortgage interest rates. As you guys can see with me on the screen, the stats from Mortgage News Daily, today rates about 7.6% and they start climbing in 2022 and all 2022 and 2023, there was about 7%. Mortgage rates right now the highest level for last 20 years. In this slide, we compare month supply of inventory for King County, Snohomish County for months of October. And we have over two months supply of inventory in some parts of Maple Valley, in location, some parts of Renton, Taquila, but pretty much everywhere where you see yellow color, it's less than two months of inventory on the market today. And let's start with Seattle neighborhoods. If we can buy all Seattle neighborhoods together, medium close sell price for current months was $926,950,000. And prices increased for 3% year to date, comparable to current months year ago. We have 1.9 month supply of inventory and decrease comparable to year ago. 29% homes sold above asking price. It's almost 30% homes like one third of the market selling above asking price currently in all Seattle neighborhoods and 22% home sellers have to reduce price before they're able to sell the property and they have to reduce for about 2% from the list price. And now let's look together what's happened on the market in all Seattle's east side. The city is all east from Lake Washington. And we have right now medium close sell price in those locations, $1,427,500. And prices slightly increase for 6% comparable to the year ago. And we have 1.6 months supply of inventory in Seattle's east side and decrease comparable to year ago from 1.9 months to 1.6 months. But as you guys know, we have also 30% less listings in Seattle's east side comparable to same time year ago. Almost like in Seattle, 32% uh, homes in sales east side sold above asking price. So one third of the home sellers able to sell above asking price and they're selling about 4% approximately above asking price. And people who negotiate, negotiate for about 3% from the asking price. This is very interesting slide. Some neighborhoods lost equities comparable to year ago and some neighborhoods increase equities comparable to year ago. And if you compare an average sole price, the biggest cities where equity increased it was Sammamish neighborhood, east of Lake Washington, Issaquah neighborhood, Monroe, Nahomish, Bellevue. And people who purchase properties in Sammamish, for example, they see increase in home value for approximately $200,000 per house. And some neighborhoods lost value. Some neighborhoods, like for example, Queen Anne, lost $200,000 value and equity comparable to a year ago. And uh, some areas like Georgetown, Rainier uh, neighborhoods, Stewart Park neighborhoods, those neighborhoods lost value comparable to a year ago. But if you'd like to see your neighborhood more closely, you can pause this video uh, and look for your neighborhood and then click play again, because now we're going to talk about very interesting information. I will tell you guys my thoughts when I'm thinking about this market and how you can win in this market if you're looking to buy a property or if you're looking to sell property as well. Okay, if you're a buyer and looking to buy a property, my advice for you guys will be number one, never try to time the market. How many clients I had two years ago who was looking for the property and decided to postpone for another year or rent it or postpone for a few years because it was multiple over situation, was very hard to buy because they have to compete with a lot of different buyers for those homes. And uh, now I'm calling those same people and they're telling me you cannot afford to buy anything with those mortgage rates. So those buyers pretty much price themselves 
out of the market. Who should buy property right now? People who are ready to buy, who are willing to buy, who are able to buy. People who have jobs, sustain those high mortgage payments, and they're willing to buy property and willing to stay in those property for at least 10 years. Because if you stay longer time in a property, your real estate will be appreciated with the time you see your equity grows in your investment. For example, I will put for you guys on the screen, this is example from the mortgage lender. If you buy a property for $1.4 million with those crazy mortgage interest rates, 7.5%, with average appreciation approximately 5% and average rent growth for about 5%, Within eight years, you're going to have, even with this mortgage rates, I'm sure you're going to be refinanced much faster and sooner. But even if you keep this high mortgage interest rates, your equity is going to grow in your investment. And also, another great news, financial guidelines going to be changed for multifamily units, up to four units. So currently, if you buy multifamily, you have to have 25% for down payment. Now, you don't need 25% for down payment. Now you can put only 5% for down payment to buy multifamily property like duplex or triplex or fourplex. You can do house hack, you can buy duplex, you can live in one side and you can rent another one and tenants can pay parts of your mortgage. If you don't qualify right now to buy because your income did not support this price, now with 5% down payment, you're going to be qualified to buy multifamily properties next year. If you need help, reach out to me. I would love to be your real estate resource and help you with that. And another house hack, what buyers can do to buy properties and make properties a little bit more affordable. Uh, if you have mortgage rates, not 7%, but 3%, like was two years ago. A lot of people don't know about that, but uh, we have government loans, VA loans, FHA loans, which allows loans to be assumed by a new buyer. That means assume rates as well. If somebody purchased property like two, three years ago with 3% mortgage interest rate and decide to move for any reason for job transfer, if you're buying on today's market this property, you can assume this low mortgage interest rate. You just have to pay difference on the sale price. It's possible you can have much lower interest rates. And if you need help with that, reach out to me. I'll be allowed to be your real estate resource. I'll be allowed to help you locate those property, find them, and work with the bank through the process. Make sure you can get much lower interest rate. And if you are a seller, I can give you a couple tips that will help you to get top dollars for your house on today's market. In Windermere, we have Windermere Ready program, the program which uh, loans people money to improve property for staging, for landscaping, for changing roof, or changing kitchen. Anything can help you to improve property to get you top dollars. Sometimes you cannot get a home equity line of credit very fast because you need to sell a house right now. And home equity line of credit takes from 45 to 60 days to take. And you can work with me and I can help you to get Winning Me Ready program up to $100,000. will help you to improve your property and will help you to get your property to best possible condition and this is gonna help you to get top dollars on today's market. Another advice I have for some sellers who in very specific situation, but maybe they doesn't know about that and maybe the real estate broker you guys working with did not tell you about that. Some sellers who purchased properties two to three years ago, specifically properties with government secure loans like VA loan when you put 0% for down payment or FHA loan when you put 3.5% for down payment. All those loans generated two to three years ago with low mortgage payment have tremendous value for the buyers right now because they can be assumed by the buyers. The buyer will be able to pay much lower payment for the property on today's market. How this can be benefit you as a seller if you have this type of loan? Will be benefit a lot. You can simply sell your property to any buyer with any brokerage on today's market for today's value and buyers can get what they can afford to get uh, with 7% mortgage interest rate. But on another hand, what you can do, you can reach out to me and I will line up you with a buyer 
who will pay 10% more than market value, much more money. And why those buyers going to do that? Because that low mortgage payment can be assumed by the buyer. And everybody knows increasing of mortgage payment for 1% decrease buyer's power for 10%. If you have lower mortgage payment for 3 to 4 percent than today's market, that's going to be increased buyer power between 30 to 40 percent. And those buyers willing to pay much more money for your house if you are in this situation. For example, you got VA loan, you decide to relocate to different states, you must move. You need to sell your house. If you reach out to me, what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to line up you with the buyers who are willing to pay 10% above market value. I will help you to work through the bank to do this assumption for the buyers. For buyers, it's going to be tremendous value to buy those homes because they're not going to pay 7% mortgage for three years. They're going to assume your loan and carry the rest of the mortgage. Maybe you have 3%, maybe you have 4%, but payment for the buyer is going to be much lower. You're still going to sell. You're still going to clear your title. You're still going to get your money. And on top of that, you can get much more money for your house if you work with me. I hope this will be helpful for sellers and buyers because buyers can get a house without any competition and buyers will be able to buy property with much lower mortgage payment on today's market, which I think is a brilliant idea. And if you guys have those type of loans, reach out to me. I'll be love to work with you. Love to help you to get top dollars for today's market. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope this episode was helpful for buyers and sellers and it was very educational for you with a lot of data. And if you like it, please smash like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And this will help me a lot. And with that, guys, have a fantastic week. Until next episode.